Today, I think I confirmed something that I've been suspicious about for months. I hope I'm wrong. And it has everything to do with chicken breast weight. In fact, it's probably all chicken weight. I want to share this with you because I think the repercussions are probably national, maybe even international. And it's crazy. And as a consumer, or for all other consumers, I don't think we should tolerate it. Ugh. Pretty scary. Well, it's not scary as much as it is. Maybe we're getting ripped off. So let's go to a top-down shot and I'll show you what I mean. The first thing anybody's going to ask you on a weight challenge is how accurate is your scale? Well, this is a standard kitchen scale. I use it for all sorts of builds. I'm going to weigh a wide range of products. A 2.5 pound weight, a 5 pound weight, a 1 pound bag, and a 2 pound bag. So let's get to it. We will recalibrate. 1.008 pounds. It's a one pound bag of couscous and there's probably that much packaging. Okay, let's put a two pound bag of popcorn. 2.024 pounds, so a little heavy. So let's put a 2.5 pound weight on there. Okay, 2.568 pounds. 0 0.068 pounds over a standard weight. Not sure why, but that's probably a good thing because that gives the chicken package people a slight advantage that their weight is going to be a little higher than maybe it is. And then we'll do a five pound weight. 5.004. Considering that the weights that we are going to go are between one and five pounds, I think we're pretty good. And just out of curiosity, we're going to weigh the plate. 0 0.026. So the packaging on this two pound bag of popcorn is about the same weight as the paper plate. Both of these have been inspected by the Department of Agriculture. I think that's about how things are raised and contains 5% retained water, whatever that means. You don't want dry chicken breast, but there's probably a limit to how much you can do. So this is what we're going to look at this time on the chicken weight challenge. Store one happens to be this store. Store two is this store. And I just took this off the labels here. 249, 278, the weight of both packages, the labeled cost, boom, boom. The cost per pound three months earlier. Now this is an important one because this shows how much food prices have inflated. You can see 229 for this store and this was down to 179 on this store. I'm using store one and store two. I'm not going to tell you what stores it is because I don't want to be sued by anybody. And I'm, maybe it's not that important from the standpoint. I'm not sure if the store might be at fault here or somebody else. I realize this may be higher or lower than what you experience. It's just a side-to-side -side comparison for my area. So the cost in three months has gone up 50 cents per pound or 99 cents per pound in this case for store two. So 25% increase, 55% increase. So now we're going to go into the details of the challenge as far as recording what we need to hear to come up to some sort of conclusion. Now if the conclusion is the weight is great and on point, fine. If it's not, then I guess we might have discovered something and I'd be curious to see your comments below if you're having the same issues that we may be having here. We're going to put the paper plate on that and zero the scale out. So here we go, loading the chicken on. 1.2, there happens to be six chicken breasts on this one. Okay, three pounds. Instead of 4.2 pounds, 3.7. Where did that extra weight go? Well, we've got this thing here. It's a, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, a gel pack that catches all the liquids. So let's put that on there and see how close we get. All right, there you go. 4.12 pounds. This is for store one. So you get 4.12 pounds, but guess what? Part of the weight is this package right here. I don't think you can eat this. All right, so we're gonna actually take the chicken off, put it back in the tray, and then weigh this and see how much it weighs. So it weighs 0.422 pounds. So the weight of everything else on this case is 0.422 and the actual weight of the meat 
is 3.7. We'll get this information here. I'll plug this into my spreadsheet on my computer, and then we'll figure out how much you overpaid. Possibly. Well, it looks like I'm overpaying for that because I don't want to eat this. So we've recalibrated the scale. I'm going to put it out there a little bit. I will tell you that on both cases, for both sets of chicken, all we did is bring them home from the store and left them in the refrigerator. I don't remember this much water being in this tray when we bought it. And if we would have saw that much water, we probably wouldn't have bought it. So this is the 278, 4.33 pounds is what we're looking for here. I'm going to have to shake it off a little bit. Hopefully you can see the scale down here. 1.69. Now the other thing is, fat here you have to contend with some unedible stuff. 3.75. The labeled weight was 4.33. So this was 0.2 less than this one, but it's pretty much the same weight in meat. Because I'm presuming you can't eat anything else other than the meat. And this also has that fat I was talking about. So that's part of the chicken. Some people might want that fat for some strange reason. We cut it off. So unfortunately, this is exactly what I expected. Now we're going to weigh this guy out. Eek. Wet. Horrible. But you pay for it. Half a pound. Might as well just put all the liquid weight in there with it. Eww. Missed some. And there's some here that I can't account for. Crikey sake, this is gross. So this is all the extra liquid. So I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to say it's 0.568. So this is what they're selling as additional meat. It's just the slimy stuff. It's not water. That just shouldn't be allowed. Much of it is in the weight of this gel pad. I don't know what else to call it. I'm not sure what the government's approving there to have chicken so close to that. Boy, just so much to clean up here. I finished the calculations here. By the way, when I was starting to plug those in, my spreadsheet, I noticed that this number on the original chart was wrong. It's actually 1.99, but these numbers were correct because I pulled them off the spreadsheet. So the actual weight of the meat on store one, boom, was 3.7. Store two, boom, 3.75. The weight of everything else, this stuff, 0 0.42, 0.57. So I took this, divided the price by the weight, and it came up with the actual cost per pound of meat is 277 and 321. 321 on store two. Crazy. So how much did the consumer overpay? In this case, dollar five for this. On case two, a dollar sixty-two. Unless you're creative and you know it better than me, you're not gonna eat that stuff. I'm not sure who's to blame here. The store themselves or the folks that are providing the chicken because I think this is all brought in but if you find a good deli or meat store and you can watch them weigh the chicken breast even though it might cost a little extra it's probably worth it because what you're gonna get is meat and not this here we are once again the consumer is being taken advantage of prices are going through the roof and we're not even getting what we deserve Hopefully this is just in my area, but I'd really like to hear comments below if this is happening to you. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in throwdowns and trying to figure out what's going on, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I do evaluations of sports, gear, and electronics, and I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe, because you never know what you're going to see.